or compression test okay to determine the compression strength of the material then in the similar way we have found out the shear strength of the material using the same machine that is referred as universal testing machine so because so material is having different strength suppose if you consider steel wire it's having good tensile strength it may not have good bending strength we can bend it very easily if you consider steel wire we can bend it without any difficulties we can bend that means bending strength of the steel wire is very less if you consider compression strength of the steel wire in the long wire if you compress it bends so compression strength is very less or if you twist we can uh, we can twist the means the three to four times we can break the material so that is it's uh, um, it's uh, twisting strength is very less instead of saying twisting strength we are using the term the torsional strength of the material can you give session can you give some example example for the member component subject to torsional loading or govardhan prav can you give some example for uh, components which are subject to torsional loading simple axles are subject to torsional loading at automotive axles then even if you can say fan rod which is clearly visible that is fan rods are also subject to torsional length strength you heard about propeller shaft in four wheeler those are also subject to torsional loading any rotating members if you consider any rotating member so it is subject to torsional loading in simple for that we require what is the torsional strength similar to tensile strength the tensile strength is expressed in terms of ultimate tensile strength or it is also referred as uts so uts in the similar way shear strength also you studied you studied about the bending strength also so those are the different strength suppose one member like a beam it is subject to bending strength so when you considering some steam member for the bending uh, application you have to check so what is the bending strength of the material so if the same steel member it is, is subject to in the practical application if it is subject to torsion loading in such cases we need to find out or get the value of torsional strength of the material if it may have good bending strength but it may not have the sufficient torsional strength in such cases we need to find out torsional strength also so first i will explain the theoretical concept then we will go for uh, uh, the demo uh, demo class the demo experiment just i am opening the file is it uh, the document is visible yes sir no what about audio the last three okay okay hmm.
so your talks about uh, now this is available in our manual also so we need to study the torsional behavior of the steel material so most of the torsional application especially automotive applications or regular machinery application the shaft is made up of uh, steel and it's uh, alloys already you studied about studied about the different types of alloys like uh, low carbon steel high carbon steel medium carbon steel so those are the different types of steels and we studied about uh, young's modulus of the material so young's modulus of material is given by the stress divided by strain if you go next the better formula for young's modulus is it is a ratio of normal stress divided by normal strain so this is a better definition better formula instead of saying definition i will refer it as a formula normal stress divided by normal strain but when the material is subject to torsional loading that process or phenomena cannot be expressed in terms of young's modulus you have to go for one more modulus this particular modulus is referred as the rigidity modulus so the rigidity modulus will come into picture when members are subject to torsional loading so now similar to young's modulus we required some formula for what is rigidity modulus the rigidity modulus is equal to we can say that normal stress not not normal stress the shear stress divided by the shear strain normal it is about the tau divided by gamma you are familiar with uh, those notation in mechanics of material the, that is the shear stress divided by shear strain that is nothing but the modulus of rigidity or modulus of rigidity is a, is the property of the material it is the ratio of shear stress divided by shear strain so now when members or torsional member is subject to loading the initial level your torsional deformation so young's modulus again you have found out load and load versus deformation complete utm is used for finding out load versus deformation for the different types of loading the load is most of the time the normal loading except uh, in the case of shear uh, test even compression test it is a normal loading normal to the cross section of the material even for uh, tensile loading also it is normal loading and the deformation is always linear deformation there are two types of deformation one is linear deformation one more is angular deformation if you rotate this uh, the, uh, the tap water tap this is it will rotate it is a displacement that displacement is nothing but the angular deformation or angular rotation but if you pull the rubber band it is a linear deformation corresponding you will get linear strain so initial level when the uh, uh, shaft is subject to any circular member is subject to torsion loading or twisting moment so your uh, deformation angular deformation is directly proportional to the torque or normally you are saying that deformation is directly proportional to the loading or as per your uh, young's modulus uh, stress is proportional strain is proportional to the stress normally strictly speaking so here the initial level of loading the torsional deformation is directly proportional to the torsional loading if we apply torsional loading of uh, what is the unit of torsion one of you can tell what is the unit of torsion what is the unit of torsion what is the unit of torsion or torque or moment it is newton meter so now torque is newton meter what is the unit of uh, the deformation angular deformation for the linear deformation if you pull the rubber band so we can say it is pulled the initial length is 100 10 mm the final length is 20 mm and overall uh, 
increase in length is 10 to 20 it is uh, 20 minus 10 it will be uh, 10 mm it is linear deformation when you come to angular deformation as uh, the banerjee has already mentioned it is a radians it, its unit is the radians or in if you, if you have little bit difficulty in imagining what is radian the initial level you can think about the rotation in terms of degrees but when you're substituting these values in torsional equation you have to substitute in terms of radians only not in terms of degrees you have the torsional equation also so that means at one particular point the it is undergo yielding similar to yielding what you studied in your normal st stress strain diagram for uh, a ductile material already you have conducted tensile tests there is a yielding point in the similar way there is a yielding point in torque versus that angular deformation plot that is a yielding point that yielding point only this yielding point will come to know only when if you want you plot the graph then we don't use uh, utm instead of using utm you are using torsional tester or torsional testing machine so utm is designed for applying tensile load or compressive load by using hydraulic force but we require rotation movement for the workpiece for providing rotary movement for the workpiece we have torsion testing machine it is separate testing machine. you can see the machine so this is the torsion testing machine it is available in our uh, Mm. our lab so now if you consider some of the specification so once you say what is the type of torsion testing machine so that specified it is a model number it is a company specific there is no standard for that they are referred as tt tt is normally referred for maybe torsion testing machine the maximum amount of torque we can apply is 60 newton meter so now we can uh, accurately apply the torque from 30 newton meter to the 60 newton meter the clearance between the grip is uh, 420 0 to 420 meter that you have only conduct once you conduct the experiment you come to know there is a display device here any of you are seeing this uh, in video later this display device gives what is that how much amount of torque applied or Torsional, torsion you will get in terms of Newton meter in the display device or indicator. So now, before going for the formula or torsional equation, I think I hope you studied the torsional equation in your mechanics of material. If you not studied, just remember torsional equation. I will describe and I will explain with some example. Imagine one end of the shaft is fixed. So strictly speaking, you are applying in as per formula, you are applied that uh, torque at both the ends. Imagine one end of the shaft is fixed. You are applied torque of T. So this the complete shaft is rotated from the original position by a small angle. That angle is rotated given as theta. I think I hope you can see this theta. It is not, don't think that it is only required in the case of your uh, material testing laboratory you are talking about the torque you are talking about the torsional strength the torsional resisting material torque resisting material throughout your engineering course if you join some mechanical engineering uh, industries again you are coming uh, coming come across with this type of terminology so you are applied to one end of the shaft is fixed you are rotating the other end like your fan rod the fan rod one end of the fan rod is fixed the other end is not fixed so other end of the fan rod can rotate by small angles. Suppose if the rotation speed of the fan is very high, imagine it is in the third position or fourth position, extreme position of the speed, high speed, then other end of the sh shaft may rotate by some angle theta. The theta either it may be in terms of angle, uh, angle in terms of degree or in terms of radian. So it may be in terms of radian also. So that is the basic principle. And when you conduct the experiment, because it is a lab, I am concentrating more on the experiment, experimental aspect of the equation. So you have to measure the length of the specimen, the length of the torsional specimen, especially in the gauge length. The torsional specimen is having most of the time it is a standard specimen. For metals, it is made up of circular cross section. We required length. 
you have to, before conducting the experiment you have to before applying that torsional loading we have to measure the length of the specimen the length of the specimen why it is required means not only think about only experimental part so we have torsional equation right now you come across the, this torsional equation so before going for the torsional equation some of the terms used in the torsional equations are as follows we have tau tau is nothing but a shear stress and uh, r is the radius of the shaft so once you know the diameter again you have to find out the diameter of the shaft you have to check the diameter of the shaft by using the vernier caliper you have to determine the diameter of the shaft once you know the diameter we can find out the radius then we t is the torque it is in terms of newton meter or newton yeah newton meter or newton mm j is the second polar moment of inertia m is for polar moment of inertia we have mm power 4 i hope those formulas also you studied in your uh, first year the civil engineering mechanics j is equal to i x x plus i y y i x x is pi d is power 4 divided by 64 i y y is again pi d power 4 divided by 64 if you j if you add those two terms we get pi d power 4 divided by 32 this is the formula pi d power 4 divided by 32 that is the j value so those are the standard formula you have to remember not only this subject you may require these formulas for another seven to eight to ten subject in your higher semester then so tau by r tau is shear stress divided by radius is equal to t by j t is the torque applied divided by j we can see how much torque is applied here then g is the rigidity modulus and theta is the angular rotation then l is the length of the shaft as per your lab is considered you are considering on the right part of the right two terms of partial equation t by j is equal to g theta by l from the experiment so from the experiment or in the observation you can get the value of l we can get from the observation without conducting experiment before conduction of the experiment you have to note down the length of the specimen that is l this is the l you can give you know the value of l and j is again we know the value of j is a polar moment of inertia once we measure the diameter of the shaft from that we can get the polar moment of inertia second uh, polar second moment of inertia pi d power d over by 32 if we substitute the value of d we will get the j value denominator is known j is known l is also known now similar to load versus deformation plot or load versus deformation value you are determining getting from the your machine in the tensile machine tensile testing machine in a universal testing machine we have display device it gives load how much amount of load is applied how much amount of deformation we are getting that we have to differ this displays one is load and one more is the deformation in the similar way torsion testing machine it is not a digital version so you are getting the torque in conventional analog this this display and one more is theta how much angular rotation those two things you have to note down during your conduction of experiment you have to note down t you have to note down during conduction of experiment theta also you have to note down so then only one unknown in this right side two equation right side two formula is g you have to find out from using this equation j is from the diameter once you know the diameter we can get the value of j so l is the length of the shaft again once you know the length of the gauge length of the specimen we can get the length of length then t is the uh, observation continuously you have to note down what is the uh, once you apply one kilometer load torque so what is the deformation two kilometer load what is the deformation theta so once you know all those things once you substitute in this equation only one unknown is become g from g we can find out that is the major main aim of the experiment the description i have not explained already i have described so observation means you have to note down what is the material used so then average diameter of the specimen that is uh, diameter of the specimen is required to find out the value of j the length of the uh, specimen that length of the gauge gauge length is required for uh, substituting the formula 
the maximum torque how much amount of torque is applied before it fails that is the maximum torque and you are measuring the diameter as, as well as length by vernier caliper that's why least count of the vernier caliper is 0.01 is the least count then you have to prepare the tabular columns you will get torque on the one side you are applying the torque corresponding to the rotation angular rotation you are getting theta during your experiment you have to note down what is the value of torque and what is what will be the corresponding deformation or angular deformation theta will get that we can convert into radians let us say but in during conduction of experiment we will get only theta from theta we can get the radians in calculation so once you know the diameter you can get the value of j so j will get into the millimeter power 4 and modulus of rigidity again already you have seen the torsional equation so g is given by t by theta into l by j t by theta into l by j l is l is known j is also known t by theta is the slope of the torque versus deformation plot torque versus deformation plot is given by t by theta no need to find out uh, in, the, in the, you don't get uh, g different value of g for different value of theta and torque so we'll get single value that is nothing but slope of the torque versus deformation plot torque versus deformation plot where t by theta is found out by graph newton for mm square then modulus of rupture the torque final before it fractures what is the torque and do by j into radius that is nothing but your modulus of rupture and uh, torsion yield strength is given by the formula ty by j into r ty is the yield strength of the torsion yield strength or torque at yield point that only once if you plot the graph torque versus theta then you will get the yield point you can clearly visible those yield point from that you can note down or if you are uh, closely study the tabular column So at one particular point, torque is imagine torque is going to some high newton, some five kilonewton, ten kilonewton, fifteen kilonewton. Suddenly, from fifteen kilonewton, it may come down to twelve kilonewton, thirteen kilometer, etc. That that will be the yield point. At one particular point, the torque value reduces. That will be the yield point. So that is the some theoretical basis required for. your torsional experiment then i'll close this uh, theoretical part so now i am showing the video of uh, torsional testing you can see the capacity of the machine the capacity of the machine is maximum how much amount of torque we can apply 60 newton meter and we can apply the torque from 30 to 60 newton meter the clearance between the grip is the 420 mm those are the specification of the torsion testing machine 60 newton meter next say of the motor so why we required motor is Good. hello sir uh, video is not seen sir okay okay it's not about i think start from the beginning i hope now it is visible yes sir okay you can see this is you know you put uh, the specification of machine in the machine itself the maximum amount of torque we can apply is 60 newton meter unit of torque is newton meter it is similar to bending moment but in the case of utm maximum amount of load uh, compression or tensile load applied is around 40 ton then torque range is also given and those are the clear those are the specific mainly specification is what is the maximum torque can be applied by 
Tamam mı? Şey. We have motor arrangement. We have hydraulic force in the case of universal testing machine. In UTM, you have to apply compression load. You have bottom uh, cross set. One is cross set. The cross set move, you can move up and down to mount the workpiece. Once workpiece is mounted and uh, it is mounted between the two jaws, etc., then you have to apply the load. Bottom portion of the piece, bottom supporting member will move up or down because of the hydraulic source. Hydraulic source is used to apply load in the case of universal testing machine. Hydraulic uh, force or hydraulic pressure is applied. But when you come to torsion machine, so we have motor arrangement. So to, to motor and chain arrangement, so you are, you are able to apply torsion loading on the specimen. That's why there's a motor and chain arrangement for applying torsion loading to the workpiece. That you should be able to differentiate the basic structure of the universal testing machine as well as the torsional testing machine. <laughs> so now in the torsional testing machine, you have to measure the angular deformation. In the case of UTM, you are you are you are determining you are getting the, de the deformation that is a linear deformation. So those are the term deformation. You are using this deformation, strain, stress, those are the basic concept. So it don't think that it is only required for your uh, empty lab or uh, some one or one or two subject. Almost all subject it is required. Almost 50% of the subject you require this deformation, strain, or uh, stresses, what is torsion equation, torsion capability. All those things are required. Don't think that it is required only for your uh, empty lab. Those are the basic uh, fundamentals you need to know being a mechanical engineer. This side. So here, so the angular deformation, you have pointer from that, you can find out what is the angular deformation and then rotate. Once torque is applied, specimen rotated or twisted, how much amount of twist happened on the workpiece is can get from the, this, this there's a separate disc and uh, degree arrangement from that you can get. This side, 60 meter is there. So here, Next, this is specimen. So 10 mm, 10 mm size square volume of the death machine 4 jacket voltage is So is a torsional specimen. The torsional specimen where exactly torsion load is applied is only the circular section. You can see this is a circular section. That is nothing but a gauge length. The pointer is not, uh, op option is available, not available here. You have circular section. Other square section on the left side and right side is used for holding purpose. So you are finding out what is the deformation, stresses, strain, etc. only for the circular section, not for the square section. It is a square section that is used for holding the workpiece in the jaw or in the machine. You will need to find out what is the, we need to note down what is the diameter of the shaft, this uh, section, what is the length of the shaft, uh, sh sh the specimen that is nothing but a gauge length and the diameter of the uh, specimen. Those two are required. So the gauge length of the specimen is 50 mm. And uh, we know by the another gauge length as well as diameter by the vernier channel. Gauge length 50 mm is there. Of the specimen, first, say, this side, so parallel just is there. One side, first you fix it. Again, you move it, motor. Move it, see again. See up there, 
Esse é uma coisa interessante. Sim. Uma coisa interessante. Pelo seu ser. Está aqui. Está aqui. Ó, tá. Esse é. Pode ser. Pelo seu ser. Again, you rotate manually. See, it's moving. See, this is 16 now. See, after 30, 35, 36, 36, 30, 37, 30, 31, 32, 33. So don't tell this is the 25 newton meter. The other side, after 25, next uh, the division mentioned in the scale is 30. So between that, you can identify you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 10 divisions up there. 25 to 30, there are uh, 5 Newton meters. The 5 Newton meters divided by 10 divisions. That means each division refer to 0. 0.5 Newton meter. That you have to remember. The simple way is from 25, this is a 25 tar Newton meter. This other side, the 30 Newton meter. Between 25 Newton meter and 30 Newton meter, there is no 10 division, but each division is not the bigger division. Each division is not one Newton meter. Each division is only 0.5 Newton meter. That means 25 to 30, there are five division, uh, five Newton meter, five Newton meter divided by 10 division. That means each division measures the 0.5 Newton. That you have to remember. So initially you are setting the angle, the rotation to zero. That is the initial setting you are making. So don't confuse about uh, noting down the readings. So now to move to get one angular uh, one degree angular deformation, how much amount of torque is required? That way we can either we can change the torque, we can uh, change the torque from 25 to 30. So you in, in, imagine initial uh, torque is 25 newton uh, newton meter newton uh, newton meter newton meter. Then you increase the torque to 30 Newton meter. What is the angular difference that you can note down? Or here, what is uh, our instructor is doing is uh, for every degree increase in degree. So what is the torque required for the say five degree? What is the torque for eight degree? What is the torque for the ten degree? What is the torque? Anyhow, you have to note down two parameter for every uh, one is how much amount of torque is applied. Then for that particular torque, what is the corresponding angular deformation corresponding angular deformation is nothing but a theta that is nothing but a that you are expressing in terms of degree that's all you are applying the torque Initially, we are applying by manually also. Now we can apply by <coughs> motor, electrical motors. Yes, so already you studied about uh, studied about fatigue testing machine. In fatigue testing machine, the specimen is rotating continuously. 
but in the case of torsion testing machine even though we have the motor so space motor is used for rotation but one end of the specimen is mounted rigidly other end you are applying the other end you are applying the torque by using the motor you have to remember in that case a torsion testing machine the specimen will not rotate continuously on the bearings like uh, your shafts are rotating continuously between the two bearings it is not like that so one end of the specimen is mounted rigidly on the jaw so it is a four jaw chuck then other end is other, in the other end you are applying the load because of the application of loading so material undergo twisting suppose other one end is fixed if both ends are uh, if both ends are uh, free what will happen one of you can tell what is what will happen if both ends are free free in the sense it is mounted on bearings what will happen if you rotate the torque uh, if, you, if you apply the load torsion load the specimen will rotate that's all nothing will happen we have free rotation so if there is a free rotation there is no uh, as uh, our banner is rightly mentioned in the message so if there is a free rotation there is no the stress induced in the material so that is referred to the rigid body motion in mechanics of material or it is also referred to as solid mechanics or it is also referred to as continuum mechanics also it is sometimes it is also referred as in the vtu syllabus it is referred as a theory of elasticity you are using a term continuous uh, it is referred as a rigid body motion imagine you have duster so you can move the duster by holding the duster we can move from one position to the and another position it is a free rotation but even vehicles also when vehicles are moving the best time vehicles are moving so no impact stresses will be developed so only when vehicle hits the other wall imagine wall is fixed the only vehicle hits then the impact load is applied and specimen break the, the component may some component may break or it undergo deformation it may be elastic deformation and plastic deformation if vehicle is running continuously over the road without any constraint then there is no deformation yeah, there may be small elastic deformation but there is no regular deformation it is only the rigid body normally it is after the rigid body motion but in the case of uh, photic testing machine if you neg neglect the bearing friction so then it is a rigid body motion but still there is a small amount of bearing friction so then small amount of torsion load is also applied correspondingly there may be small torsion stresses even in the case of uh, fatigue testing machine also but when you come to torsional testing machine one end of the specimen is uh, mounted rigidly you are applying the load on the other end because of the application of other end the other end of the one end is fixed other end there may be slight the rotation that rotation is nothing but angle theta So finally, in the formula, you have to find out what is the uh, strength or the torsional strength of the material, at, or maximum amount of torque applied on the specimen. So that we can get it because before specimen breaks, so the what is the maximum amount of torque is applied that you have to note down. That is the next part of the experiment. Now, that is, for that part, you are conducting it. So here, now through the motor you are applying the torque and finding out what is the maximum torsion load the specimen can take. So you can observe here. at one particular load the specimen breaks see yeah so now specimen broken so at that particular point the torque is noted in the the display display in is nothing but your analog display that is a pointer and rotate over the scale that is the maximum amount of torque the specimen is stand before it fails that is nothing but it is almost similar to ultimate tensile strength Or ultimate compression strength. Those are the strength and compression strength 
so what is the load taken by the material before its total failure it may be compression by failure or brittle failure that is nothing but a ultimate loading so here also you are finding out so what is the ultimate or maximum load the member can take before it undergo failure or it is nothing but partial failure so now we can see here what is the corresponding torque value so that is it crosses 45 45 point it is almost like a 0.5 so that is the maximum amount of torque applied is 45.5 it is a part 45.5 it is 45.6 will come here it is not 45.5 it is 45.6 it comes here it is 45.5 it is newton meter So now we record corresponding. So when material undergone the twisting, so what is the maximum amount of amount of under uh, amount uh, it undergo the angular deformation that we can from the disc. So that is around one seventy, one eighty, one almost around one eighty three or one eighty four. It is around one eighty four. So now this is the torsion experiment. Then I'll come back to this. So when you come to your record writing, I'll just show it very fastly. Do you know that about your uh, last working day? Another last working day. Another last working day. Got any information? Your last working day is postponed. It is earlier. It is uh, planned scheduled on uh, December. Now it is postponed to January. I hope that uh, MS or document is visible. It is already. It is in the VTU website. It is some uh, people. Some already. Some staff member circulating the group. It is in the. It is in the VTU uh, website. You can get the information. It is uh, instead of December. It is postponed to January. I think shortly it will be circulated uh, in your group. Now, when you come to your record writing, firstly, I already explained. as per your record writing is considered you have to write, explain what is the aim of the experiment you have to write apparatus you have to write the specification you have to write no need to write this diagram no need to write this diagram so now this diagram you have to write write in schematic sketch so you can write write on a circular member and write down this torsional equation and what are the notation used in the torsional equation no need to go for 3d view of the shaft we can write 2d view of the shaft we can uh, note down this parameter the description of the apparatus the brief description is there we can write around 2 to 3 the procedure you have to write then observation you have to write as usual what is the material material used it is uh, steel the so right diameter you are already noted uh, those information this observation values will be shared in your group the length of the specimen gauge length of the specimen maximum torque the maximum torque is nothing but how much amount of torque is applied before it fails That is compared to forty five point five. That is the this one. The this kind of the original calculator all those information. This kind is not required to write in the observation. It is required for cal calculating the diameter and length. Then you have to prepare the table. So this torque value will be given, and uh, degrees will be given. From that you have to plot torque versus uh, angular deformation plot. From from that you have to get the slope of the plot. Slope of the plot is t by theta. so that is used for determining uh, your modulus of rigidity if you see the modulus of rigidity l is already measured in the during experiment the diameter is also measured from the diameter we can get the value of j 
So t by theta is nothing but a slope. Don't substitute each and every value. You get n number of g value. It is not like that. T by j is the constant for a given material behavior. That is the slope of the initial slope of the load versus deformation plot or torsional load versus angular deformation plot. That is nothing but a g. So if you substitute everything, so we will get the graph Newton for this. We will get a slope. Slope is nothing but t by theta. It is from from the graph. If you substitute, you will get the g. The modulus of rupture that is the final value of torque d over by j as usual. The torsion yield strength is so that only once you plot the graph, then we will come to know what is the yield strength. It will deviate from the straight line. That is nothing but the yield point. The yield point you studied in your uh, module one as well as module two. Then if you can come to y one, so what is torsion equation? What is torque? The torsion equation is formula is here. Normally, it is T by J is equal to tau by R. Hello. Do you have any doubts? Yes, sir. Can you hear me now? Ah, yes, I am here. It is audible now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now the torsion equation not only required for your material testing laboratory during your uh, interview time during your viva even higher semester you are going to study the design of machine element one design of machine element two there are two subjects there also you are using. Then there is a one more uh, subject, the finite element uh, method. So it is what you are doing in mechanics of material, you're doing everything in terms of analytical method or math, 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 math equation you are writing and substituting. Everything thing can be done. What uh, uh, the amount of time you are spending for doing all those calculations that can be done within few minutes or few seconds also. That is referred to the finite element uh, modeling. It is a simulation uh, software. So that, they, that lab also, that theory also, they may ask what is the torsion equation that is required. I don't think that it is only required here. T by M, your, your option, I, uh, normal, I remember T by J is equal to tau by R, that's equal to G theta by L. That is nothing but a torsion equation. Then define modulus of rigidity. So modulus of uh, rigidity is nothing but your G value. So G is nothing but the ratio of shear stress, shear stress to shear strain. But strictly speaking, as per modulus of rigidity is considered, it gives if the modulus of rigidity is more. So what is the angle of deformation for a given value of theta, given value of torque? So mod, if modulus of rigidity is more, the material is more rigid, it will not allow for the twisting. So if the modulus of rigidity is more, if you apply a small amount of load, there is a very, very small amount of the twisting. If the modulus of elasticity is less, if you have more, apply a small amount of torque, there is a huge amount of angular deformation, like a rubber. But just you apply a small amount of torque, it may undergo uh, 30 degree rotation or 40 degree rotation. For the same size, if you consider steel rod, if you try to apply low torsion loading, to get one degree, you have to apply a huge amount of torque because the modulus of rigidity of the steel is very high compared to uh, the plastics are rubber. So what are the tests that can be used for finding the modulus of rigidity? It is nothing but a torsional test. The plane moment of inertia and polar moment of inertia that is already studied in your, uh, um, your engineering mechanics. The plane moment of inertia is nothing but a I. I is equal to what is the formula for I? BD power 4 dO by if it is a rectangle cross section, BD cube dO by 12. You studied no? Huh? The polar moment of inertia is nothing but a j, that is uh, that is nothing but i by d value or i by d is nothing but your, uh, not i by d, I, polar moment of inertia, polar moment of inertia j is equal to i xx plus i y y, i xx is phi d power 4 divided by 64 plus i y y is phi d power 4 divided by 64 because circular cross sections are symmetric. So finally, if you add those two, you will get pi d power 4 d over by 32. All those calculation derivation you've done in your uh, injury mechanics knowingly or unknowingly, that first year civil, j is equal to pi d power 4 d over by 32. That is nothing but i x x plus i y y. That is nothing but pi d power 4 d over by 64 plus pi d power 4 64. That is nothing but a polar of moment of inertia. Torsion rigidity. What is torsion force? It is nothing but torsion force is given by so it's also depending upon the force into radius. That is nothing but a torsional force. The difference between shear strain and normal strain. 
the shear strain uh, you have the angular rotation angular deformation normal strain is the linear strain normal strain is nothing but a linear strain the shear strain is nothing but your no uh, torsional strain in simple way with respect to this experiment we have some other explanation also polar moment of inertia we have already discussed what is the difference between force and load hmm? any difference you are talking about the force you are talking about the load can you find out at least uh, <coughs> some simple terms you are using force are interchangeably also you are using just uh, try to browse Uh, try to get it from the internet what is the difference between force and load what is the unit of force and what is the unit of the load that is i uh, that question i left to you that you can find out if you have any doubt i think uh, few of them are not there few of them are not uh, entered your uh, usn number either those who are not entered your us number please enter your us number before leaving i will call one more. sir load is load is more like pressure sir load is like force exerted on a given surface hmm. and force is uh, basically mass into acceleration uh, force is mass into acceleration the load what uh, so you one you one on you are given on example that is correct the load is applied on the surfaces exerted on the surfaces there are three types of load one is surface load like a friction force between that row vehicle tire and road that is one example for the surface force the you are friction force because you are moving the hand on the table there is a friction force between your uh, <coughs> hand and the table similar to that there is a point load also point load is of the load only there is a volume load because self weight of the beam your buildings there is a self weight that's also load only load there may be three load one is point load one more is surface load one more is uh, <coughs> volume load hmm? yes sir like in general load deforms a body and force uh, like not necessarily deforms it may also move the body oh yes sir. the force is used for uh, uh, you are force is nothing accelerates it may be most of time force is equal to mass into as per your given uh, force is equal to yeah. mass into acceleration hmm? you can explain yes. with force you can explain with respect to the newton, newton. second law newton second law huh? yes sir now what about pariga uh, i'll call you one by one uh, just i want to know whether you have finished experiment uh, the record writing and uploaded srikanth madupi you to uh, you to respond what about your uh, record writing you have finished and uploaded you can get it from the google uh, class on note that what about parth sarathi record you don't keep it pending i right? uh, i i to uh, given two slot experiment set of 1 and experiment set of 2 it is not for every, every one and not given in one shot what are the experiment you have finished between first test uh, before the first day of joining and uh, up to first test i have given one experiment to set up one set and between first test and second test that's the experiment to uh, set two i right, uh, created a separate space in the google classroom you have to upload just i'll uh, check it and i'll put it in the group so those are not done i'll put it in the group those are not done so finish it at the earliest if you are uh, do those things later you may lose the marks also yeah. there is there should be some difference also those who submitted uploaded and they are regular they are uploading the everything in the in time for them you have to give more weightage that's why if you do it later you may lose some percentage of the mark and if you are don't bother about your marks then you can submit later not uh, for that also you give the deadline if you don't submit within that deadline you may lose uh, it may not be considered also that's also important even though you may upload it into the google classroom you may it may not be considered if you delay it too much any of our details i'll put it in the group you can go through it any of you are as a individually you know that how many experiment you have finished how many uh, there is a one more in one more question i think what about uh, offline examination so examination date i think uh, if you see the schedule so i think in the schedule itself the examination dates also given i hope it is this time i think uh, at present uh, information is considered 
it is a only offline examination in the schedule it is given the complete schedule for this your uh, odd semester schedule so it is given your examination dates also given i think shortly it will be put it in the your uh, group group or you can check it in the vvt website it is uh, signed and it is most of the staff member they are downloading and putting in the different groups so you can directly you can uh, cross check in the group itself and in the vvt website it is authenticated uh, information sources in source i think uh, those are finished the entity or us number you can leave i am going to stop uh, the recording so you can leave now if you are if you have any doubt you can clarify your doubt now the last 5 minutes you can clarify if you have any doubt not only this about this lab if you have a doubt about your material sense also you can get clarification so just just scroll the ch chart box and uh, before entering the name second time make sure that already you entered your name if you are not entered then only enter your name otherwise don't enter your name twice hmm? or sometimes twice hmm? just scroll you can scroll this uh, chart box we can find out whether you already entered or not if you have the doubt then make sure that it is not entered then only entered otherwise there are few students they are entering twice or thrice hmm? then i require more time to segregate it so what happens is sometimes they leave the meeting by mistake mm -hmm. and like when you leave the meeting by mistake no sir you can't see the previous chats so oh, just no, to make uh, those are extreme cases are okay i am not going to take it uh, so seriously but uh, so there are some students i am going to want to name huh? only few yeah. students are entering twice or thrice even the material sense so many times they are entering hmm? yes, yeah it's not the okay it's not a major issue to don't worry about that part hmm? Yes, sir. This all. If, if you enter once, if only once, I can just I can I can count one, two, three, four, and I can enter in our register as well as I have to put it in our more sheet uh, shared by the department. Uh, how many students are attended? So that it will be easy for my <laughs> work also. Oh, yes, Otherwise, uh, you have to take out how many are entered twice. Nothing, nothing serious about all those things. If you have, yes, uh, if you have a doubt, definitely enter enter your name. No issues. Hmm? Okay, okay, we'll uh, I'll stop it. Hmm? If you have, if you don't have any doubt, I'll uh, stop it. Hmm? Okay. Sir. Hmm. So, Banerjee, if you have any good project, if you plan to do some project, you can approach me anytime. Other than PBL, out of PBL, if you want to play, if you can start, you can finish your project second year, uh, third year, after six months, also one year, also. On the amount okay. of planning required, so I am the taking care of your patent cell, also IP cell, intellectual property cell. I think yeah, uh, in the PBL itself, uh, we I mean, there is a new idea, sir. Actually, so when yeah, during is... other time also you can contact. Don't uh, follow that procedure. That regular routine uh, review, everything will be there. If you are really yeah. interested to know, then okay. who is your guide? Who is your guide? Sundaresh, sir. Okay, okay. You have to check. You have to check it in your uh, Google regular Google Scholar Google search. You know, familiar with Google search and Google, regular Google search. You are familiar. Yes, there is one more Google Scholar also. Hmm? You know yes, about sir. Google Scholar? Yeah, I checked it out once. Mm, you check whenever you have the free time, you have to check it by yourself. So okay. then there may be similar type of work is there. If you are already similar type of work is there, you have to slightly modify. Hmm? Then yes, once sir. again you have to check your uh, work whether similar type of work is there or not. Then like uh, it is an iterative process. So there may be some in the similar way. Some other people in the world. There are many people like us. Also, they will think no. Huh? Yes, they also sir. have to. If it is for patent for PBL, it is okay. Your final year project, those things are okay. But if you are okay. studying the patent, you have to make sure that no one is done the exact similar work. Huh? So yes, sir. They might have done more similar work, similar purpose. Maybe application may be same. We, we may be we will say that may be different. That method or way they have applied their technology. The way they have arranged the components or circuits or electronic circuits, so how the system works, all those may be different. Application title looks similar or same, but inside the content you have to cross check. So that is a yes. major one. Whenever you have the free time, so you have to uh, search those information, put it, put it in some uh, regular MS Word document, and keep all the 
a PDF files in the folder so that wherever you are free time during vacation time etc you can read those document once you read okay. those document you'll get more and more idea about your project already someone is some done some basic work on that your project no so okay. instead of doing the project by yourself you can uh, read those document then you'll come to know how exactly they have done and you are the right person to check whether it is a uh, uh, novelty is there or not or it is a patentable or not instead of checking by ipcl or department or review or the guide or the ipcl coordinator department you are the right person to check whether your project is patentable or not if it is a semester project if it is not patentable or a final year project you will not consider but you are in the third semester if it is not patentable if it is 90% not patentable now if it is, if it is 10% patentable within one or two years studying the lot the different type of work when every time you can slightly modify implement you add some addition features you can make 90% patentable from 0% patentable from this stage you have sufficient time check out it your second year students one or two by student they are doing one good project patentable project only they are doing, they are started from last six months now they come okay. to one level hmm? Okay, if you have any doubt, you can uh, about that. You can contact me. No problem. Yes, sir. Actually, no. I had this idea for. Uh, I mean, the idea in which we are using for a PBL. Hmm. The in most in, like the entire idea is mine only, sir. My friends are helping with the mat hmm. se material selection and all. But the way hmm. it works and the uh, invention of the idea itself is mine. So the idea is actually so how if to. It is, if it is like that, no. Once you yeah. put it in the uh, PBL, it is a group work. Yeah. It's nothing important. If you are really interested to put your own your name, you have to work independently. It not put it in your PBL. You have to do work independently. You can send the proposal to the IPCL independently. That is the one option. Mm -hmm. But already okay. you have started. But finally, at the end of the day, what you require is whether you have the file. Maybe two or three people may be involved. Huh? Yeah. But at present, uh, when, when you are in the group, when you are filing from the college, uh, you involve all two or three members in the group also. Huh? We have our own policy. Huh? But okay. if you get totally new idea, independent idea, if you want to execute each and every detail by yourself, don't include in PPL. You do independently. You take your own time, one year or six months or eight months. Send the proposal uh, to the IPC. We will process. If you are only one name, you will file it in the petition. Huh? Yes, sir. The idea is actually about modified elevator technology for use in fire escape. So normally, I think Sir, that uh, particular project is already shortlisted for uh, patentability check. Yeah, but the yeah. it is there, sir. Many are there, but yeah. the way I we are doing it, I mean, the way I have. Thought about it that is will, not that this. Okay, that will agree. What are the other paper uh, that those information you have to include in the that, that part? Yeah, I was. That you. I was the, checking. All other information you keep it ready. Huh? So hmm. whenever you require, you will give, you will ask all those information. What are the searches? What are the different types of work already done? You imagine you are there are ten people who work on that area. Those information, yeah. how exactly they are working? How what is the overall system that you should have in your soft copy? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That I have checked. You are seeing in the uh, website, different website. Immediately, yeah. PDF file. If you copy, put it in the PDF file. Later stage, uh, sometimes you may not get all. Sometimes searching yes, your, because different time you are using different keyword. No, that's why those information you are you have to keep it ready because once initial level scrutiny is over, next level, second level, second third level, you have to give all those information. You will get set. You will give one format also. Mm -hmm. Idea. It is okay. about the invention disclosure format. There yeah. you have to mention which journal, similar type of work is done, which journal, which uh, international journal, conference, any YouTube is, uh, YouTube video is also available, or uh, some uh, even uh, regular uh, product uh, may be available in the market. What is the technology used for this? Already product is available in the market, no? In any company, they've done. What is the technology in, uh, used? How your work is different? Those explanation, everything. There's a standard MSO document. You have to edit all the details. But initial yes, level, sir. we don't give. Only if we make sure that it is more uh, patentability, then only we'll give those uh, document. Otherwise, uh, filling that document itself is more time. It requires more time. So that at the end, mm. final stages, you have to fill those document. But in general, at present stage, get the information, keep it everything in the folder, a uh, uh, PDF file, all information in the folder, and some important information to put in your what exactly you are working in your product or work. 
that you have to put yes, it sir. in the your the report hmm? yeah you have to even it may be small connection of two wires also one yeah. one gear with one one more gear also that yes, everything you have to edit in your report that is very important so one more first part you can finish that hmm? yeah yeah so, so the okay, elevator okay. is actually like i was checking mostly mm. first i checked before starting with this topic i checked with what is the latest technology on this mm. so the then i started making a design sir and the design i have made so far no i have not seen the same design no, no, anywhere else. Checking, uh, patents uh, just go to google search uh, yeah. google patent yes sir there only i was checking and so far i have not seen the same thing no. okay okay then uh, I'll, i think i'll send this form for, i think if you send your uh, mail id to my mobile number okay i'll send I'll the ms ms word for yeah. ms word document to you so okay. start filling that ms word document then you'll get idea hmm? yeah okay sir. otherwise uh, we otherwise what you may feel that uh, you don't know what exactly you want to do hmm? that once hmm. you start filling that document will come to know uh, what are the things you have to do hmm? that yes, i think send, send your mail id to my whatsapp yeah or you can uh, then then i'll send the format hmm? in cut yes, the format then you'll come to know what the extra you have to do hmm? yeah okay sir i'll okay, just okay okay all the best hmm? send the mail id yeah okay thank you sir. okay okay srikant yeah hmm. okay i'll stop recording okay sir. Hmm. thank you